Hey guys, welcome back to Just Carve Rob. And what are we carving today, Rob? Well, we got this fantastic basswood from Larry Get Dibs up in Canada. And I've been playing around. We carved the squid guy, and now we're going to carve a crab guy. Crab guy. Prototype crab guy. Right here. So, now we're going to carve another one with a couple changes right here so uh, I have no idea this guy was carved on the flat this guy's gonna be carved on the corner oh boy so uh, I guess we're just gonna have to see what we come up with here take the corners off here I started carving in. The trick here is you gotta remember you're carving on a corner and you want this stuff straight, so you gotta go in straight. Uh, I would say for this, your carving skill has to be at least uh, 200 out of 10. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how this turns out. So my carving skill is about a 3 out of a 10. And we're just going to have to uh, take our time and just pick, pick, pick. Let's get this guy right where we want him, I think. I don't know. I know this This has all got to go back here. we got to bring all this back to the center. His eyes are going to end up, uh, let's see, somewhere in here like that so you gotta kind of mentally project where everything's gonna be so we know his eyes are gonna be in the center of his head or at the top of his head so his eyes are gonna be right in here now we're looking at the top down here so okay you see his eyes going up so they're going to be here, so all this has got, he's got to be rounded over, and all that good stuff. It's going to be a, it's going to be a something else, guys, to figure this guy out. It's going to be a something else. So, I guess what we could start by doing is push all this wood back to the center here is what I'm thinking. I don't know how this guy's going to turn out. So we got to push all this back to the center. So we need to put in center lines this way so that we can keep everything kind of uh, equal. I'm thinking I don't know all we can do is just carve right we're just gonna carve it that's all we can do and then same way here all this guy come back too um, I would normally put this on my bandsaw but we're working on a corner so you try running that through a blade that's straight up and down boy you're gonna you better hold her straight or you're going to end up pinching it and breaking the blade and possibly hurting yourself. So I think we are just going to be using knives and dremels and uh, probably what I could do is go out and get my disc grinder with the uh, cut saw disc on it and peel all this wood back and be a lot quicker. Well, you're not here for the quicker, you're here for the carving, right? Right. So, um, basically, from the nose back, we're just going to take all this wood off until we get close to this shape. Okay, so I'm just going to do that. It's going to just be a lot of mass removal of material. Let me get this taken down, and I will be right back. All right, all right. Otherwise, you guys are just going to be bored to tears watching me just lop off slabs of wood here. 
Okay, we'll be right back. Alrighty then, you can see that I have been carving, 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 cutting, cutting, cutting. All this was done with my knife. Yep. And uh, yeah, that's me and my hands hurting. See me shake it? Ouch! And we're just roughing the eyes in. Now this is where I should have stopped with the eyes until I got the rest of this guy roughed in. Because uh, these uh, eyes get pretty thin. And as you'll see, we end up snapping one off. So we are uh, got the OCC, two and a half inch knife there. And we're just going after it. We're getting her. Just giving it. And we're rounding up. That pointy thing sticking out there in the, is the front, is the nose. Now we're going to separate the eyes, which I should have waited on doing. So, if you guys give this a try, I would suggest the eye separation be one of your last steps. Uh, so you have less of a chance of snapping them off, like I did. But with a little Gorilla Glue and about two hours... We fixed it. We put the eye back on. Can't even tell it was ever missing. Not too bad today. It's only 80 degrees. But the bonus is the humidity is down. I can deal with 80 degrees and 50% humidity. But when it's 80 degrees and 80% humidity, oh my lord. All you got to do is look out the door and your eyeballs start sweating. I hate when my eyeballs are sweating. Get back in the frame, Rob. Get back in the frame. I haven't seen uh, Anna Thorson around for a while. I know her mom was having problems. I hope she's okay, Anna. And I hope you and uh, your husband's doing well. And hopefully we see you guys back. I see that uh, Sticks and Stones wood carving. The man, the myth, Kevin Doherty. I see he's uh, trying to get back into uh, the YouTube game. He's having problems. I guess they canceled this count. That's what happens when you don't go on making YouTube videos for a year, two years there, Kevin. But glad to see you're back. Uh, Mr. Carving, hope your family's doing well, and I uh, hope, yep, see we're peeling off a lot of wood with that two and a half inch knife. We got all the parts for the Dremel, and that's fixed. Um, I've just really been enjoying carving with a knife, so that's what I've been doing. Boom! Poof! Right, Ben? Poof! Look at all them chips. Alright, so you can see I got one arm done, and one arm that needs to be done. So I'm going to show you guys how I did the other arm on the other arm, right? So we're going to do that over there. We did that, now we're going to do that. Yep, that's what we're going to do. Alright, hey, Glenn McKelvey. How you doing? Glenn McKelvey. Ben, Studio on the Lake. Go over and check out Ben at Studio on the Lake. Ben's been a busy, busy man. He hasn't been making no videos, Ben. Where's the videos, Ben? He's been working on a vampire kit. I'm dying to see if he gets a vampire. I looked up, I looked it up, and yep, Michigan has the dog man. He's part werewolf, part dog, part man. Ow! Nope, it's not me. <laughs> yep, okay, Rob. Leave the eyes alone, Rob. Don't show everybody how strong they are because the wood's running up and down. But what you forgot to say is that the wood is also running off-center. So, hey, if you squeeze them too hard, oh, snap. There it goes. That's what happens. Doggone it. All right. Well, we're going to have to glue that. Okay. Yeah. Look at it. Look what you did. I hope you're proud of yourself. 
Okay, so I'm going to put some glue on it. So I have glued the eyeball back into place. That's what I'm doing right there. Okay, now we're going to carve it a little bit. Yep, okay, looks like it's steady. Just, just don't lay it down and push it against the table, Rob. Don't do it. You might snap it all the way off. Okay, so you see I'm cleaning up the uh, sleeve there. Doing a little uh, digging around with the knife, getting that, cutting that. We're just taking that arm in a little bit at a time, digging a little deeper, digging a little deeper. So you can see how I kind of got the sleeve in the middle of the cone and uh, then angled it forward. That's why we started out on the corner so we could fit the arms in without having to use uh, like a aluminum armature like I did on the prototype guy. And now we're just digging into the corners. We're doing that three-way chip cut. And coming up underneath. This knife is very, very sharp and very, very thin. Okay. So you can see that's what we're doing there. And now we're going to cut the... Uh, we need to give them more of that cone shape. So we're going to cut that in. Okay. And now we're rounding the bottom part of his belly over. His belly. Oh no! Snap! Oh no! Oh no, Mr. Bill! Oh no! What happened? Why are you going so slow, Rob? Up! Oh. Boop! There goes his eye! Poof! Popped right off from there, even after I glued it. You know what happened? I laid it on the table when I was using the force of the knife to kind of counterbalance it and snap. Okay. So, bing, bing, dong, dong, whatever it is, round two, glue the eyeball back on. Here we go. All right, wipe the glue off, and uh, now we got to wait like two hours for this glue to set up because we have nothing to help us hold the glue in place. So, I'm going to go mow the lawn while this glue sets up. All, All right. right, and we're back. I think that has set up enough to go ahead and carve as long as I don't break it off there again. And if I do break it off again, guess what? It's going to stay off until the carving's done. Then we'll worry about it. Alright. So, this is our array of knives we're using today. The JCR OCC OCC Flex Cut. JCR is just carved off, just in case you don't know. I made this knife. And then uh, I really like the handle on the flex cut. It really fits in your palm well. Um, the uh, OCC knives have a longer handle. Well, no, I guess they're about the same length. But the way they're tapered, they fit in your hand pretty good too. This is the one inch uh, detail OCC knife. And I don't know if we'll be beating it, but we got it out of the box anyway. Okay, so, uh, here we go. Let's try uh, carving this claw to be the same, at, or close, well, it's not going to be the same. We're going to try getting it close. So, let's kick this into high gear so we can get down to around 20 minutes on the part one here. And we're using the flex cut inch and a half knife. Or inch and three eighths. It's one of the two. Um, I believe it's an inch and three eighths. Up oh, there's a the shop inspector. That rabbit just tortures that poor hound. Yep. <laughs> there's a. I've got a rabbit. It's a big rabbit, and uh, the rabbit knows the extent of the dog's cable. So. Uh, yeah, she uh, gets all excited whenever the rabbit comes around. And the rabbit knows right right where to be. Right at the end of the driveway, hopping around the mailbox, eating all the grass. The dog don't like it. So the shop inspector gets ticked off and starts carrying on like a little fuzzy maniac out there. Then I gotta go get her and either put her in the house or bring her in the shop so that she stops barking. Or until the rabbit decides to leave. Okay, so you can see we're just... Uh, Using that inch and three eighths, I I, enjoy, I like this knife. It's a good knife. Uh, the the big difference between the two knives is the grind and the thickness of the blade. 
the OCC knife has a thicker, or the, sorry, the OCC knife has a thinner blade with a flat grind, and the flex cut knife is a thicker blade, and it's got a steeper of an angle. It's a flat grind too, but it's steeper. It's uh, thicker, so it's got less of an angle. I hope that makes sense. Um, yeah, so that's how that worked. Now we're going to draw the arm in, trying to get it about the same height. We're going to draw that little his little arm in there, and we'll make the little U shape, and then we'll come back with a knife, and we'll make make it like a more like a funnel, like the other one. One ends up a little bit bigger than the other one, but hey, he's a crab. Okay, so that's what we're doing there. Now we're going to go around right here, and we're going to cut around. But we're cut. You can see we're cutting on angle up. If you're pu go pushing from the bottom, and that's allowing that arm to look like it's sitting inside the sleeve. Okay, sitting inside the sleeve. So, uh, I guess if we push too hard and cut through, we'd be uh, disarming them. He'd be disarmed crab, a de-armed crab. So we're trying to keep them the same height. Uh, the, the beauty of that upswept blade is you can use the front of the blade uh, to act almost like a gouge. Whereas with the straight blade, you really can't pull that one off. So. Uh, I, I like the upswept blade. I use it a lot. You guys have probably seen that. I switch over to my other blades when I need to take off a big chunks of wood because believe me, when I made this blade, I made it super thin. So it probably wouldn't take much to snap it off other than this is a rugged piece of metal here. Uh, I believe that it is 5150 high carbon steel. I had a bar of it out there in the shop. Back in my my knife making days, yeah. Make sure you keep your hand lower than your blade, otherwise you can just poke yourself. And believe me, this knife is very pointy. It doesn't take much to uh, draw first blood. So you can see we're cutting the uh, crab arm in because their crab arms are kind of jointed. They don't really have an elbow or whatever. They kind of have like balls that the other one socket fits into the other socket. So that's kind of what we're trying to pull off here. I don't know if we do it very well, but we're trying anyway. And now we've got to push that sleeve under the arm. So we're cutting in on an angle down to make it look more like a funnel shape. So that the sleeve is cut into under the arm. It gives it that illusion. I'm a magician. It's an illusion. I'm an illusionist. Yeah. It's all about the illusion, my friends. All about the illusion. All right. So, um, in the next video, we'll actually go around and wood burn this whole thing. Uh, out, basically outline everything so that things st stick out better or stand out better. And then when we we got to paint these guys because this guy's red, so we got to paint them red. So we'll be painting him, and we'll be painting the squid guy. Um, don't know if I'm going to do a video on that. My painting videos do not do well at all. So you know, I guess if three people, ten people watch it, they're getting something out of it. Um, okay, so now I'm showing his legs. We're going to leave a little platform under them. We're not going to totally separate the legs. So we're going to leave a little platform under them. So it doesn't want to keep falling over. Because this guy's got, you know, crabs got them little skinny spindly legs. And they usually have, what, six of them? I don't remember. Uh, but this guy has only got two legs. So if we, if we make him little pointy legs, he'll never stand up on his own. So we got to give him, sand, we're going to have him standing up, standing. Blah, 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 blah standing on a sandbar slow down Rob take your time pronounce your words don't mix them up all right so that's what we're doing there and that what we're doing with the tip of that knife is we are pushing that sleeve up under the arm 
and we'll come back and we'll make the arm a little thinner so it's kind of like the other one and I gotta remember crabs do not have the same size arms all the time um, some crabs actually some crabs down in Florida I think it's a blue crab I could be wrong has one little claw and one massive big claw so you can tell whether they're left-handed or right left clawed or right clawed I guess um, I watched this guy his name is uh, Raj the iguana man and Florida is being in, is invaded with iguanas and pythons and tegus uh, they're causing millions of dollars worth of destruction because I didn't know this but iguanas dig big holes and they have they lay 80 eggs at a time holy mackerel that's a lot of iguana babies running around and they breed two times a year from what I understand so one iguana can have 160 baby iguanas a year so um, they also were catching crabs and they were showing these crabs that has one big claw and one little claw and it wasn't just like one mutant crab they were all like that I'd say a good 80% of them had one big claw and one little claw uh, you might have to go over to my buddy Chris Garage 78 he lives in Florida and ask him hit say hey Chris Rob says that the uh, just Car Rob says that the crabs have one big claw and one little claw. What's up with that? And maybe he'll know the answer. I don't live in Florida. I wish I did, but I don't. I live in Michigan where we don't got crabs. Well, not the kind you not the kind you get out of the water anyway. Knock, knock, knock. Woo, 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 woo. Oh, bad joke, bad joke. Keep it keep it clean, Rob. Keep it PG. But you know, this channel is not rated for children. So if you're a child watching this channel, you probably shouldn't be without your mom and dad okaying it first. Okay? That's my disclaimer. I just want to put that out there. I try to keep it clean. We try keeping everything uh, PG, but sometimes it gets a little off the rails around here. Okay? The shop inspector's always talking crap. You know her. She's just a dirty girl. The dirty old German Shepherd shop inspector. Okay, so share, subscribe, and like, and we will catch you guys on the next one. Be awesome. Carve something awesome. Stay awesome, my friends. Stay awesome. Get it done. Go out and carve. Catch you on the next one.